Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, happy Monday. I am so excited to be able to be with you to kick off a new series in the book of Colossians for our word for the days. So for the next several weeks, we will be looking at the book of Colossians kind of verse by verse. And so I have a question for you. When was the last time you wrote a letter? You know, one of those good old fashioned things where you say, dear so-and-so, and then you start to write them about your life or ask them about their life. It's probably been a while. Maybe you've written an email recently, but even that is a passing trend. Now we just write texts on our phone or we write little messages on social media. But when we come to the book of Colossians, we're coming to a letter. And um, as such, it's a unique kind of writing. And as we jump into the first couple of verses, you're going to see how that is unique. So here we go. We're just looking at verses one and two, and it says this. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and the faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. Pretty simple entry. The way letters started out in New Testament time was by the author stating, hey, it's me and I'm writing you. So the author here is the Apostle Paul. Now you can read about the Apostle Paul's life if you go into the second half of the book of Acts and you'll be able to read about him. But basically as an apostle, he is claiming to be a foundational teacher of the Christian faith, a foundational part of the foundation of the Christian church, because he had seen Jesus in person. He had heard teaching from Jesus in person. And so he had a unique role as an apostle. And he's writing alongside of his disciple, Timothy. Timothy is a young man who came alongside of Paul and ministered alongside of him and, and Paul poured into his life. So we have the authors here, it's Paul and Timothy. And then we have the recipients the church or the people who trusted in Jesus in the small town of Colossae. Now, you're going to hear little bits as we go through the book of Colossians about this small church. But what you're going to hear is, one, this was a church that was not planted or was not formed by the Apostle Paul. Uh, probably a man named Epaphras had heard Paul's teaching and then had brought it to Colossae and had shared it with people there. And Epaphras is kind of the person who started this church. And as you read, you're going to hear that there's some problems going on in this church or there's some false teaching going on in the church. And Paul's main message as we go through the book of Colossians is going to be that Jesus Christ is the main thing. Jesus Christ is the main thing in your faith. Jesus Christ is the preeminent uh, creator of the world. Jesus Christ is God, and he should be the main thing in our faith. And you're going to see that as we go through this book. Now, of course, there is this uh, greeting here that Paul wishes them grace and peace from God our Father. So, of course, that's my wish to you as our listeners, that you experience God's grace and God's peace and that it multiplies to you as we go through the book of Colossians. Let me give you a challenge for later on today. Take a few minutes and read through the entire book of Colossians. It's four chapters. You'll be able to get it done quickly and then you'll be ready to dive in to the book as we go verse by verse through the book of Colossians. Have a great Monday, Calvary.